Okay, guys, it's JH. Welcome to the practice team. It's been a terrible, well, not a terrible, some of the storm came in here and I thought I'd be washed out today. Guys, new format today. New format. I'm going to try and do the 10 minute video. Remember the old egg timer when I used to use the egg timer for 10 minutes when YouTube wouldn't let you on for any more than 10 minutes? I think it's time to get back to the 10 minute. Guys, the reason it was always long before is because I come on unscripted and I just ad lib. And now I have to have some sort of a script, which is not JH at all. Anyway, I'll try. Today, guys, what I'm going to do is give you... I'm going to give you a release pass. And that, that means that I'm going to give you an opportunity to do something different. Imagine a standard golf swing where we just played the ball off the back foot. We just played it off the back foot with a standard golf swing. Hands here, normal stuff, even a bit of shaft lean there. But with that format, what we do is we just take the club in the channel here and we just apply the closed shoulders. Now that's for guys that have difficulty getting true channel lock, which is back here because old habits die hard guys so this is your release pass I'm giving you a release pass to say okay we're going to have a conventional golf swing which is this the only difference is the ball is going to be back here and the only difference is going to be that we start the club straight back in here instead of in a conventional golf swing we start it sideways this one goes rearwards and we want to maintain the channel lock shoulder closed when we hit it so guys, there's a fair bit of license there. And why did I come up with this? I just thought about it. I was having, you know, just doing some pain in the gym and I, trying to get away from the pain, I was just looking up into space and I thought, well, let's give the guys some options. How are we running? Probably gone two or three minutes already. Okay, so this is it, guys. Standard golf swing, here. Normal shaft angle lean. What we're doing is we're going here. We're just stepping up. We're stepping forward and we don't even have to cock the shoulders that much. Okay, you really have to work on your, <laughs> on your alignment, guys, because uh, with the ball back there, if you've got any type of open club it's going to go over there. You can do one of two things. You shut the face down, just hit a push draw, which I, I think is quite a nice shot, or you can just work on your alignment. So I haven't hit a shot. Been in the gym for two hours, being angry. So here we are. Standard golf swing. We're just going to go back here. We're going to have five o'clock nose. Now, guys, that's the first shot of the day. Let's go to now. That's just... That's just blitzed. That's easy, guys. That's easy on the head. Now, what we're doing there... We've still got channel lock, we're still in the channel. We've still got a rear, well we have to be in the channel because of the rearward ball position. And we have to have closed shoulders when we hit it and we've got to have five o'clock nose. But we don't have to be here. And we don't even have to have our arm on here if we don't want to. If we don't want to do any of that, we don't have to. So it's conventional golf swing with a back foot ball position. And guys, what I find even, even after that one shot, you know what I would do if I was going to play this from the back foot there with a conventional thing? i just close the stance up a bit. i just get it there, I'd shut the face down a little bit. Nothing could be easier than that guys, and that's a perfect golf shot. That's a perfect golf shot. Nothing could ever be easier than that. Okay, a couple of compensations there. Because the ball's back, I've shut the face down. But I've still got my into out path. Got a little bit of... But what's interesting there, even with the face, you know, the ball back there and my hands forward, that ball is going exactly the same height as it was going when I'm back here with Martinez's perpendicularity. And guys, for anybody that knows Martinez or knows of Martinez, I've got Marty here on Friday. We're going to do a reunion video right there. Just 
is Marty and I, the old JH and Artie. We had a lot of those. And we're going to talk about channel lock and, uh, and um, DOCF, which is Martin Ayres' process, and where Marty is with it today. Okay, guys, so here we are. Conventional golf swing here. Same amount of shaft lean. We're not going to change anything other than we're just going to walk forward. Walk forward. Five o'clock nose. I don't know what the audio is like today, but that contact was just exquisite. Just exquisite. Just fantastic. We've had a, a rainstorm here, guys, and the ground is wet, and I forgot to put my... Uh, I've still got my gym shoes on. I forgot to... Um, forgot to put my golf shoes on. I really didn't think I was going to hit any shots. Okay, so let's, let's revise. Conventional golf swing here. Now, we can't take the club <laughs> inside from there, guys, because we run into the leg. Don't we? Uh, so we eliminate that. We go to here, still got that shaft angle, and we can go here. It's such a pretty shot. Now even though I've got the face shut down, I don't know, probably four or five degrees, it's a dead straight golf shot. The wind's a little bit across. Actually it had about, you know, half a yard of fade on it. Here it is, conventional golf swing. Same amount of, yeah, I'll just hit a conventional golf swing. It feels funny, a conventional golf swing. Just here. Basically the same ball flight. But what was, what was really there, and people say, well, why wouldn't you use that, JH? I mean, if you hit that shot perfectly, and I did, uh, because guys, even when I was over that ball, I felt ah, there could be something going on here. That ball up there, I could I could hit the ball over there. But guys, with the ball back here, I can't hit the ball over there. And this one I'm going to show Martin Ayres on Friday. It'll be interesting to see his take on this. He's never seen this. So here we are, guys. Standard swing, forward swing. Sorry, uh, hands forward, ball back. And a little bit... Uh, just a little bit uh, shut in the stance. Well, you hear it all the time from me. That could be the best five iron I've ever hit since I've been on Channel Lock, ever. That was just fantastic. And the air's heavy here, guys, because there's been a storm. But that was just brutal how good the contact was. And I've been getting pilloried a bit lately, guys, from some people, and it's just unnecessary. I mean, I, I, get a, I get enthused and excited when I do videos. And I say, that's a great shot. And that ball's gone good. They are great shots, but they're always relative to me. And I always, always make sure that, that I put that, um, that waiver on everything I say. Everything I do is relative to me. And all these videos are my practice sessions. They're nothing else. They're not teaching videos. They're just giving you entree to my practice sessions and what I think about my golf swing. This has never been... I, when I say when I come on, I say it's a JH practice tee. And that's what it is, guys. It's not the JH teaching or learning centre. This is what I do when I practice. And all it is what my practice sessions with some audio. I thought about this day, I thought I'll come out and, I, and I'll do it. But it's a practice session. So guys, every time I, I get excited about a shot, it's relative to my level of ball striking. And, and some people have said, oh, you're going on like, like, like this golf swing is, is, the, is the greatest thing since, since sliced bread and it supersedes every other golf swing and nothing is as good as this golf swing. I not say that. I might have said that. But I always said it relative to me and what it's done for me. What it does for other people, how can I know what it does for other people? I can only know what it does for me. And I just give you the benefit of knowing what it's done for me. It's the best golf swing I've ever used and I would never use another golf swing. 
it is that good. But I've never said it's the, the be all end all. It is for me, absolutely for me. But I never make any recommendations for anybody else. I say, guys, if you want to do what JH does, do it. But I never ever um, put the tag on, on the golf swing where this is the, the be all end all for everybody. It's for me. And I can tell you guys, I actually like this back, back foot ball position. So watch this. Just goes dead straight. I was watching Sam Snead for an hour. There's a video I might have put up on the site. Sam Snead practicing in 1974 at the Masters. Man, you want to see the tempo. And you want to see the sameness of the tempo. That's more like uh, Sam Snead's mother's tempo. Okay, guys, the video's not going to go long. I'm going to cut it off. Okay, one more shot. Now, here it is. Back foot ball position. A little bit of shaft lean. Channel lock here. I wish you could see that golf ball. So today's video is giving you license to, uh, to do a few things with channel lock. There's a conventional golf swing. There's channel lock ball position. Club can go here. Still have a little bit of... I can't believe how high I'm hitting that. I don't understand why, because I've got it back. And uh, so I'll have to work that out intellectually. I don't really know what's happening there. But I could play with that right now. Ball's going exactly where I want it to go. And if you want to play with a little bit of closed stance, play with a little bit of closed stance. Flare your foot out a little bit. As a fair bit of, look, look where the club is, guys. It's right in the middle of my pelvis here, as opposed to here. But you can do that. As Arnold says, you can do it. Here we go. Well, we've been, we've been evolving channel lock as we go along. It's not a finished product. Now this could be, this could be one of the, uh, the evolvement uh, um, principles, or the evolved principles. Okay guys, that's egg timer is just about to, uh, I'll have to bring out the old egg timer if I can find it. But I don't know, that might have been 10 to 12 minutes, but it's certainly not 37 minutes like that one the other day with uh, Mr. X and I, we were just shooting the breeze. I thought it was about a 15 minute video. It was 37 minutes. So I can understand anybody who doesn't want to watch JH, Mr. X for 37 minutes. But that's what we do. On our, that was one of our practice sessions. That's what we do. Okay, guys, have a look at that. And the egg timer is beeping.